Hey students, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to study mathematics and the topic is quadratic equations. So let us see what are quadratic equations and solve sums accordingly. Quadratic equation is the one that can be rearranged in a standard form that is ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 where your a, b and c are coefficients and here the value of x is unknown. Now why is it called a quadratic equation is because of the power 2. If the power is 1 that is the highest power in the given equation is 1 then it is considered to be a linear equation. Okay. Now quadratic equation the word quadratic is defined from a Latin term called as quadratus which means square. And as I already told you ABC are the coefficients and they are the real numbers. Solving this equation will help us find out the value of x. That is the solution for the given equation. And b square minus 4ac that is b the value given. 4 a and c also value given. When you put you get a value which is called as discriminant that we represent as d. Think again a quadratic equation is the one which can be represented in the form of ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. So now whenever we get any equation and they ask us whether it's a quadratic equation or not, you need to try to rearrange this in the given standard form. So here we try solving LHS and RHS simultaneously. Here I'm applying distributive property which means 3x into the whole bracket minus 2 into the whole bracket. Similarly 2x into the whole bracket plus 5 into the whole bracket. So you can see here what they have done 3x in the bracket 2x minus 3 minus 2 again 2x minus 3 now how do you solve this 3x into 2x gives us 6x square 3x minus 3 gives us minus 9x minus 2 into 2x gives us minus 4x minus 2 into minus 3 gives us 6 similarly i have solved it on the right hand side and here you get is 2x square minus 21x plus 11 is equal to 0 now how did i get this by solving, taking everything on the left hand side. So it looks like 6x square minus 4x square because here it is positive, so on transposition it becomes negative. Then this minus 9x and minus 4x gives you minus 13x and this plus 10x goes there, so this becomes minus 10x and even this minus 2 we can take there, so it becomes plus 2x. And then it is plus 6 and this minus 5 goes there so it becomes plus 5 so you get is 2x square minus 13x minus 10x gives you minus 23x plus 2x gives you minus 21x and 6 plus 5 is 11 so through this we get what is actually that is 2x square minus 21x plus 11 is equal to 0 these are all basics that you've been studying since class 6 and once we get this in the form which I already told you here, we can say that it is a quadratic equation where A is equal to 2, B is equal to minus 21 and C is equal to 11. Now head to the second sum. Here they have checked whether X is equal to 5 is a solution of the quadratic equation X square minus 2X minus 15 is equal to 0. Means here already they have said or mentioned that it is a quadratic equation where a is equal to 1, b is equal to minus 2 and c is equal to minus 15. Now here they have asked us to find out whether x is equal to 5. That is if we substitute 5 in place of x, will that amount to 0 or not? Whether this is a solution for the given equation or not? So if we can prove that yes, substituting 5 in this equation gives us value 0, then we can say yes, the given value is the solution of the given equation. So let us try solving it x is equal to 5 I'm substituting it in the place of x in the given equation so in place of x I'm putting 5 so 5 square again here 2 and 5 I'm placing the uh, 5 I'm putting in the place of x so it gives minus 2 into 5 and here 15 as it is so this gives me 25 minus 10 minus 15 minus 10 minus 15 gives you minus 25 and 25 already is here so 25 minus 25 gives you 0 so we get your answer as 0 means this is a quadratic equation with the solution x is equal to 5. Now different quadratic equations will have different types of solution which are also called as roots. So here we are going to try to understand what will be the type of solution or what will be their characteristics or nature. 
एज ए ऑलरेडी टोल यू डी इज इक्वल टू बी स्क्वायर माइनस फोर ए सी मीन्स डी इज द डिस्क्रिमिनेट सो हियर इफ ऑन फाइंडिंग द वैल्यू आई गेट डी इज ग्रेटर देन जीरो देन वी कैन डिरेक्टली स्टेट दैट द रूट्स आर रियल एंड अन इक्वल इफ द वैल्यू ऑफ डी कम्स एज जीरो देन द रूट्स आर रियल एंड इक्वल एंड इफ डी इज लेस देन जीरो देन वी से रूट्स डू नॉट एग्जिस्ट और देर आर नो रियल रूट्स ऑल्सो वेन डी इज ग्रेटर देन जीरो देर आर फर्दर टू कंडीशंस दैट इज इफ इट इज अ परफेक्ट स्क्वेयर फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई गेट इज लाइक डी एज वन फोर्टी फोर इट इज ग्रेटर देन जीरो एंड इट इज अ स्क्वेयर इट्स अ परफेक्ट स्क्वेयर ऑफ ट्वेल्व सो योर वी कैन से दैट द रूट्स विल बी रियल बट इफ आई गेट डी एज नॉट अ परफेक्ट स्क्वेयर से फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई गेट वन ट्वेंटी थ्री सो वन ट्वेंटी थ्री इज नॉट अ परफेक्ट स्क्वेयर सो इन दैट केस रूट्स विल बी इेशनल ओके स्टैंड दिस विद इन एग्जाम्पल हियर सेवन एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस नाइन एक्स प्लस टू इज इक्वल टू जीरो इज अ क्वाड्राटिक इक्वेशन वेर ए इज इक्वल टू सेवन बी इज इक्वल टू माइनस नाइन एंड सी इज इक्वल टू टू सो हियर आई कैलकुलेट बी स्क्वायर माइनस फोर ए सी दैट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ डी विच वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड इन प्लेस ऑफ बी एम सब्सटीट्यूटिंग माइनस नाइन इन प्लेस ऑफ ए सेवन इन प्लेस ऑफ सी टू ऑन सब्सटीट्यूटिंग आई गेट द वैल्यू इज ट्वेंटी फाइव एंड ट्वेंटी फाइव इज अ परफेक्ट स्क्वायर दैट इज स्क्वायर ऑफ फाइव so here as we discuss that if t is a perfect square then the roots will be real so here we can say that d is greater than 0 and it has real roots also we discuss that if they are real and they are unequal so we also write here unequal roots okay now if for example in this place we don't get a square so say for example i get a value as 24 so here 24 is not a perfect square so in that case my answer will simply be d is greater than 0 it has irrational as mentioned if it is not a perfect square roots will be irrational so here i will write since d is greater than 0 it has irrational and unequal roots roots are going to be unequal only because the first feature says whenever d is greater than 0 the roots are supposed to be unequal further we take second example here The quadratic equation is twenty five x square minus ten x plus one is equal to zero. A, B, and C respectively. D substituting the value in B square minus four a c, I get the value as zero. So here D is equal to zero, and as per the uh, information, it says that it has real and equal roots, which we studied. Ahead, let us see the next question. Find the value of P if the following quadratic equation have real And equal roots. So here it is x square plus p minus three x plus p is equal to zero. So means here we already know it's a quadratic equation, and we already know it has equal roots. So now we just learn that whenever the quadratic equation has equal root, means that d is equal to zero. So I can directly imply that d is equal to zero. Therefore, b square minus four ac will be equal to zero. Here my b is p minus three, a is one, and c is p. So substituting the value in equation, I get this. That is p square plus nine minus six p minus four p. That is I am applying a minus b whole square here is equal to zero. I get this quadratic equation. Now I am using factorization method or also called as splitting the middle term method. How does this work? Now here I will try to split the equation into four terms. How can I do that? Now, uh. Let us take it as a is equal to one, b is equal to minus ten, and c is equal to nine. Now here the first step is multiplying a into c, which gives me one into nine. That is nine. Now here I need to write out all the factors of nine. That is one into nine, three into three, and there are no more. So out of these two, I have to select one group by which Addition and subtraction gives me minus ten. So three and three, three plus three will give me six. Three minus three will give me zero. So I cannot select this. Next is one and nine. One minus nine will give me eight. That is minus eight. And one plus nine will give me ten. But I can use this if I rearrange the integers. I can still use this and get ten. So rather I can take. So we take it as minus one and minus nine. Which gives us minus ten. So this I can split into two. So here I'm doing exactly the same. I'm splitting minus ten p into two. 
that is minus 9p and minus p now this equation has converted itself into four terms rearranging it that is i'm grouping them so taking two terms together so i'm taking these two and these two so the next sum x square minus 10x minus 24 is equal to 0 here they have asked us to solve the equation so i'm going to use the same method that is factorization or splitting the middle term method i'm going to split minus 10x in such a way that the equation gets converted into four terms now i'll use the factors 24 into 1 that is a into c gives us 24 the factors is 1 into 24 2 into 12 3 into 8 4 into 6 that's it out of these we need to check which of the factors will be relevant for splitting 10 so here i am taking 2 and 12 because what i can do is 12 minus 2 gives me 10 but here since it is minus 10 so i will have to write it here as minus 12 plus 2 okay we need to check with the integers as well otherwise your answer will turn to be wrong so i have rearranged it in the form of four terms again taking out the common x inside i get x minus 12 in these two i get two as common so inside i get is x minus 12 as i told you if these two are same means your solution is correct so x minus 12 becomes one group and x plus 2 becomes the other group equating it as 0 so x is equal to 12 is one solution and x is equal to minus 2 will be the other solution means you have to equate it that is x minus 12 is 0 becomes one equation and x plus 2 is equal to 0 becomes the other equation and from there you can get these answers solving the next sum here they have not converted this in the standard form so we will have to solve the equation and convert it into an quadratic equation x into x gives you x square x into minus 5 gives you minus 5x and this 24 i'm taking it on left hand side so the equation becomes x square minus 5x minus 24 is equal to 0 and now i'm again applying the factorization method that is the splitting the middle term i will find out the factors of 24 and split minus 5 in this way so i get here it as minus 8x plus 3x minus 24 is equal to 0 grouping them i get through equations and the value of x comes as 8 and minus 3 so i hope now the factorization and the splitting the middle term method is easy for you uh, moving ahead six questions has given us an equation again but it is not in the quadratic form so i am going to convert this into quadratic form it is very simple you can take x on the other side so it gives you 6 is equal to x 1 plus x solving gives you x plus x square now i'm taking 6 on this side so this becomes x plus x square minus 6 is equal to 0 okay so this is exactly what they've done here again they have used the splitting the middle term method and the solution they have got is 3 and 2 moving ahead again we have been asked to solve and find out the value of x here again it is not in the standard form so we will convert it into the standard form they have taken lcm that is 5 into x plus 6 minus 3 into x plus 2 and the lcm is x plus 2 x plus 6 and 4x solving this will give you 2x plus 36 upon x square plus 4x minus 12 4 upon x next step is cross multiplication so x comes here and this goes there okay so now what you get is 4x square plus 16x minus 48 is equal to 2x square plus 36x you solve and you get the equation as this again applying the factorization method gives you solution as 12 and minus 2 now we are going to see a different variety of question here they have asked us to find the quadratic equation whose solution set is 3 5 and the second part is minus 2 3 means here already the solution has been given to us and we need to find out the equation now here the steps will just go reverse that is first we will write the solution that is x is equal to 3 and x is equal to 5 the next step is converting it into the equational form so x minus 3 will become 0 that is 3 will come here so it will become x minus 3 is equal to 0 and x minus 5 is equal to 0 
so x minus 3 into x minus 5 will give you 0 that is we are going reverse okay now applying distributive property you get four terms and this four terms on solving gives you the quadratic equation so here you see while solving this splitting the middle term we were starting with this that is we were first converting it into four terms after four terms we were grouping them and after that we got two groups and then equating them in equational form and then getting the answer but here we are going reverse so you may get a question wherein they have already given the solution and then we need to reach to the equation it is very simple just remember the steps similarly the other part says minus 2 and 3 so i'm putting x is equal to minus 2 x is equal to 3 getting them in equational form that is minus 2 comes here it becomes x plus 2 is 0 3 comes here and becomes x minus 3 is equal to 0 here the equation becomes x plus 2 into x minus 3 is 0 and this is your quadratic equation discuss the formula method that is apart from splitting the middle term method you can also use the formula method to find out the solution of the given quadratic equation it is minus b plus minus root of b square minus 4ac upon 2a so here this b square minus 4ac is nothing but your d which you could directly calculate simultaneously or you can calculate it separately and then put in the formula let us see the first equation we have is x square minus x is equal to 27 which is x square minus 6x minus 27 is equal to 0 it is essential for you to convert in the quadratic form and therefore it becomes a is equal to 1 b is equal to minus 6 and c is equal to minus 27 putting it in the formula it gives me minus in place of b i am putting minus 6 plus minus root b square minus 4ac substituting the value respectively upon 2a where a is 1 so now here i get minus minus 6 gives me 6 plus minus remains the same now here it is 36 minus 4 into 27 which gives me plus 108 so 36 plus 108 gives you 144 that is root of 144 so that the answer will be 12 so here i get is 12 upon 2 into 1 that is 2 now here it means that you get two different roots one will be 6 plus 12 upon 2 and the other will be 6 minus 12 upon 2 so i have separated them so one solution will be 6 plus 12 upon 2 that is 18 upon 2 and the other is 6 minus 12 upon 2 that is minus 6 upon 2 so here my answer is 9 and minus 3 respectively let us take one more sum to understand the formula method again they have given me the equation here a is equal to 2 b is equal to 7 and c is equal to 5 substituting the given in uh, values in the equation in place of b i write 7 so this becomes minus 7 plus minus root substituting the value it gives me minus 7 plus minus 3 4 means again we will have to convert this into two roots so minus 7 plus 3 upon 4 and minus 7 minus 3 upon 4 and respectively the answer is minus 1 and minus 5 by 2 now let us look at a different kind of an equation here they have not given this in simple terms that is you will have to convert this into a quadratic equation first and then find out the solution either using formula method or either using splitting the middle term method now here if you see that this is being given in the form of roots so this is not very easy to solve so what am i doing is i'm taking y as root x upon x minus 3 now this if is y then the reciprocal will become 1 by y substituting them in this place that is in equation 1 you get equation 2 so we can say y plus 1 by y gives you 5 by 2 on solving this you get the equation which is your quadratic one but this is not arranged properly so after arranging you get 2y square minus 5y plus 2 is equal to 0 now you can solve it using any method that is splitting the middle term method or you can use the formula method in solving you will get two solution that is y is equal to 2 or y is equal to 1 by 2 now you will have to use both of them and find out the value of x so we considered y is equal to root of x x minus 3 so let us take it as 2 2 is equal to root of x x minus 3 squaring on both the sides gives you 4 x upon x minus 3 solving this gives you 4x minus 12 is equal to x which gives us 
three x is equal to twelve and x is equal to four. So this is one solution that is x is equal to four. Different value that is y is equal to one by two. So one by two is equal to root of x. X plus three squaring on both the sides gives me one by four is equal to x upon x plus three. to minus 3 it is minus 3 x is equal to minus 3 x is equal to 1 so here we get two values of x that is 4 and 1 so this is your solution and here we conclude the chapter so students if you have any doubt please mention it in the comment section and keep studying keep growing thank you